as to who is better all time, Kevin Durant or Nikola Jokic. Now, I want to break this down completely unbiased. I don't even know if this should be a conversation as of right now. But if so, who are you guys taking? We'll start with you, Fluent. Uh, in real in real terms, it's too early to have that conversation. Um, yeah. but based on Jokic's trajectory, um, he is going to finish his career as the better player um, okay. because he is a better... Listen, he can't score like Kevin Durant, but he can still, like in all the different ways, but he can still score at the same level. He's not as athletic, but he's, you know but he's a significantly better playmaker. He's a significantly better rebounder. So as an all-around player, and if we look at, again, when it's all said and done, we're going to look at awards and accolades. Jokic is going to have more. We're going to look at championships, and I believe Jokic will have more, if not this. Yeah, I think he wins more than two. Um, And when we look at how he won those, well, he won it with his second best player being Jamal Murray, and KD won it with you question who was the best player, him or Steph, and Clay, and Dre, and and and. Um, so at the again, too early to tell if if their careers ended today, you're saying KD probably. Um, but again, after the dust settled, this is why I don't like doing active players. So I'll only say based on their trajectories, I think Jokic is gonna end up with the better career. Yeah, I think that's a much better question is at at the end of their careers, who's yeah, going to be better, yeah. KD or Jokic? Mm. Sorry, Jake, go ahead. I, I, I do think it's a little early right now, but I mean, if H, you, you just brought it up, if if we're being nasty, I mean, KD only for these last four years, right, because he's been breaking down, with the exception of this year, these last four years, he's, I believe he's averaging 47 games. Or yeah, something like that, like 47 games. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 34 games is what he's averaging. And with that being said, he had an 11 year stretch where he was play, he, he he missed 20. He only played two. He missed two thirds of the season in, in in those 11 years. And in those 11 years, how many of those 11 years? When we start from 2007, tone when he showed up until 19 until the 18 19 season, right? Until the 18 19 season. How many of those seasons would you say were elite seasons, Stone? Was every last one of them elite in those 11 years? KD? Yes. Was every last one of those 11 years elite from the minute he showed up? So, so 07, 08, when he's in Seattle as a rook, was that an elite season? I'm going to say no. Not so, elite. So he wasn't elite. So, oh, so how about the 08, 09 season when they moved to Oklahoma City? Is he elite that season? That's the no. year that they get. That's that's the year that they get Russ, right? They get. No. They, they. I think they get Russ. Okay, so how about nine ten? I think nine ten. Where he starts entering. Yeah. 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 Okay, so so from so from nine ten until let's say what eighteen nineteen. So that's what eight years. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, so that's eight. Years. Okay, I saw eight nine years. So now we have Joker, who's been in the league since fifteen. So Joker's been in the league nine years. Of the nine years that Joker's been in the league, how many of those seasons has been elite? I'm going to say probably Four, five. five. I was going to say five. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say five. So KD has had in 11 years, and, and again, he's he started breaking down these last four years. This season, he's actually been really good, right? He's still been really good this season, but over the last four years, he's been breaking down. Those 11 seasons... I'll give you nine of them where he was elite. So nine elite seasons to five elite seasons. Mm-hmm. No, I'm gonna have to go with I'm gonna have to go with KD right now. But the trajectory, the trajectory that Joker's on, I think he's gonna win the league MVP this season. Even though I had Tatum before the season started, I think he's gonna win the league MVP this season. Um, I think that they're gonna. I think that they're the team to beat in in, in the West. I think yeah. that they're gonna retool that roster. I don't think he's done winning championships yet. I do think that he's going to not have another opportunity to win again. And the gravity of his championships may be more than others. Off the strength of where he is and how he did it, it might be more. So if he stays in Denver and wins another one and wins another finals MVP, we might, I, I think we'll be having a different conversation about him. I don't think that the the gap between him and KD, I don't think it's that significant, but I do think there's a gap. But, and I will say, uh, I will say KD has had, Significantly better talent around him from day one. Not close. 
It's not close. From day one. And yeah. That, yeah. Not he's been on the super team he's, everywhere he's gone. Not, not yeah. he's into it. Well, you know, I don't believe in super team, so I won't say that. Um, but he has always had um stacked roster significant talent around him. And yeah. and that's and that's a little bit why it's it's tough to gauge. Um, yeah. because talent makes it easy. The expectations are higher, but it also makes it easier for you to do things. Like if you look at his first year when he joined the Warriors, I believe there's, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure everybody does. Um, I think Steph was doubled more than any other player in the league that year. Well, yep. they can't double yeah. both of them. So if Steph's gotten doubled more than any other player, guess who's reaping the benefits? Oh, it'd be Maybe. Kevin Durant. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just, it's those types of things that it makes it hard to really gauge where he is. Don't get me wrong. He is, he's always been an elite scorer. Um, it's just my issue with Durant has always been what else does he do at an elite level? And I struggle to answer that question. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, like you both said, it's not really a comparison. It's already kind of a weird conversation to have this early because Jokic has so much left to do. And, um, Katie could still win another chip. It seems very unlikely, but there's always a possibility. And we'll scenario.